Okay, so this is literally like my fourth time recording, so I'm gonna get to the point here. So, valve compression tool. Do not get it from Advanced Auto or AutoZone. I believe AutoZone has the same exact one because I do remember them having power builds. So, the part number's right there uh, to avoid, all right? So, do not get this. But it is a 648615, and the reason why it does not work with a 2JZ GE head is simply because the top end cannot adjust. So since this can't adjust like this can, um, it won't be able to get down in the head, and it basically keeps on nicking. Like, see right there? Yeah, that's for me attempting it. Don't try to attempt it if you can't do it. <laughs> So get a valve compression tool that adjusts on both ends, not just one. Um, and on top of that, in order to uh, get the valve seated properly, I got some Permtex uh, valve grinding compound and valve lapper, uh, which basically hooks on to the valve on the bottom and is just all like, hey, you know, I'll help you seed, uh, seat your valves. So, see, now this might look bad, but this ain't bad for 248,000 miles, just about. Uh, she does need some clean, some loving. Uh, and everything else. I am taking notes of certain ones. Um, that's the reason why I wanna do my absolute best to, you know, basically make this thing better. And a whole nother purpose to reseat your valves is to actually go ahead and make sure that they're flesh against the head. That way you can, you know, just, I guess, have a better fuel economy, better, I don't know, better, better stuff, okay? It's gonna make it run better, in other words. Make it run more even. Uh, maybe your vehicle's running a little rough and you tried everything. Maybe you tried a new cam sensor, uh, which, by the way, goes right here. And it looks like this, just in case anyone else knows. It goes right there, right in that hole. Uh, so as far as the VVTi, uh, VVTi, there is not necessarily a big issue as far as taking it off and apart. Um, other than the gear itself, but that's only because if you miss time the gear itself you can actually mistime the whole cam without trying to do it on purpose uh but other than that it's pretty straightforward i'd recommend to take these bearings off and when you do i'd recommend to go about a quarter of a circle of turn you know so turn it counterclockwise like that like just a circle like like that and do it on both ends until you can wobble this a little bit back and forth, but not heavily. Don't, you know, try to shake the brains out of the bearing because it ain't got none, okay? So you just shake a little bit if it's a little loose, okay? Next one, next one, next one. Keep going, keep going. And as far as the bolts as well, to take the actual head off of the uh, engine block itself, you will need a 12 millimeter triple square. Get a 12, do not get a 10. Don't get a T55, T50, whatever the fuck they're saying. Cause whoever's saying that shit, they are not right. They are completely off. I'm not saying that they're idiots, but for making me have such a wild goose chase to just get a tool just for that, it was a bit of much of a dick move. It's like, why the fuck are you gonna tell me something that ain't right? So I'm telling you guys right now, that is a triple square, 12 millimeter. Get that and get a long one too because these things are pretty far in there. I'll show you real quick. So see, they're pretty far in there. Also, another thing, when you, if you ever do take these out, uh, a little bit hard to take out, especially when you got big fingers like I do. Gosh darn it. There we go. Okay, so when you take these out, note that there is a washer down in there. So as you can see, See the washer? So don't lose the washers either. Uh, I managed to get everything off. And by the way, I just, instead of unhooking the ground from the head like a smart person, I decided to remove it from the, from the body of the car only because I already know I gotta do a lot of stuff around the head. I don't wanna do another. Um, 
And also I'd recommend rolling it onto the intake side. I recommend leaving the hook on too. So that way when you do do the valves, it kind of stay like that. Now it does stay by itself, but it is easily pushable. See, easily pushable. So be very cautious. Um, other than that, I really don't know. There's not really much else to say uh, other than the fact that you can actually leave your belt tensioner for your serpentine belt. You can actually still leave it on because it's only three, like three bolts that hook it on. Uh, I did take it off, but that was only to, you know, the head and it was on the wheel constantly. And yeah. Also, get cardboard or something is for it to go on. Do not put this, even on a very extremely flat surface, I don't care. Put this on cardboard. Because the last thing you want to do is chip at the bottom. Next thing you know, you have to replace the head or get it machined down and then remachine everything in here as well. Put it on cardboard. Save some money. In the meantime, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if so, please leave a like. Comment on me if I said something wrong. And everyone else have, a, or everyone on the video, have a good day. Take care.